Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. <coughs> Welcome back, dear friends. In our previous lectures, we have been talking about the using of GPIO pins and STM32 microcontrollers and basically uh, exploring the various uh, techniques and sort of algorithms to manage the GPIO pins and to control the LEDs and various things. Today we are going to talk about using the LCDs. Like these character LCDs, they are very commonly used in microcontroller projects to interact with the users. Uh, these are very good and easily available in, uh, in market. And luckily, a number of libraries written by a number of people are available for these uh, de uh, devices for your use, either in Arduino or in uh, big microcontrollers or AVRs or even in these STM32 microcontrollers. The objective of this talk is not to let to uh, facilitate you to use a library, but our objective is to equip you with sufficient skills so that you can make your own libraries. So for to make a library or to make a device function, you have to know how it works, what its interface requires, and how you will uh, manage that interface signals from your microcontroller application. So this will be a series of three or four talks in which we will be talking about the first the basics of these LCDs like in this lecture and the next few lectures we will be talking about making the programs and then gradually building up a consumable library that can be used in a number of other projects irrespective of uh, how the hardware is connected and how the things go along. This exercise will not only teach you how to interface with the LCDs, but will, in on its way, will teach you a lot of uh, uh, skills and techniques of uh, C language programming, like structures and uh, and unions and sort of things, so that you should be able to make the best use of the technologies. So let's begin. Um, Dr. Amir Iqbal Qureshi, as uh, you all might know, professionally I'm a cardiac surgeon and I enjoy electronics as a hobby ever since I was a schoolboy. And in my free time, I enjoy making these videos for my fellow students and hobbyists uh, to learn and explore the technologies. So we are going to use STM32 microcontrollers and the character LCDs. So in this uh, very video uh, lecture, we will be talking about the structure and internal function of the uh, character LCDs. And we will not be using any microcontroller application uh, to control this uh, <clears throat> LCD. Let's see. Um, these are the character LCDs uh, which come in various forms. Uh, they have usually uh, 16 pins. Two of these pins are meant for the backlight or the, the LED which is illuminating this display. And there are eight data pins named from D0 to D7. So this is complete one byte data pins. And then there are three uh, uh, control pins. One is called register select pin, RS pin, read write pin, RW pin, and enable pin. So these three pins or IO lines basically uh, control the functionality of the display. Then there is uh, VSS is ground and VDD is 5 volts power supply and V0 is the contrast. You have to connect a, a potentiometer or a, a resistor 
and connected it to the and connected to the ground to uh, give it a contrast of uh, this uh, uh, display. We will talk about the circuit later on. And these are eight are the data pins. So these displays come in various uh, sizes depending upon the number of characters in a row and the number of rows that can be displayed. Depending upon your need, you can get the one which is required. The interfacing is same. So all use the same microcontroller, same uh, processor on, on board and, and, and all have the same connections. These are same 16 connections. They also come in a uh, single line. They come in uh, four lines. Uh, 16 characters, 8 characters, uh, 20 characters, uh, and so on. These displays, they have a, a, a built-in microprocessor on, onto them, and then you can uh, interface with it through these I.O. lines. The manufacturers of LCD displays they can use a large number of processors which are available to drive these LCDs remember these LCDs are basically driven not only just like seven segment LED displays they have to be uh, given special type of alternating current signals to flip the crystals so that they can emit light or they can stop the light like that so each LCD display manufacturer has its own processor which is made for this purpose and you have to learn how it expects the signals and how it will be uh, managing the display. One of the very popular uh, controllers for these displays is made by Hitachi company which is a Japanese company and that was named as, as 44780 HD44780. This was the IC chip which was originally developed by the Hitachi company and it is the same chip here. These are two chips uh, of the same microcontroller, same microprocessor. So <clears throat> this was equipped with everything uh, like in inbuilt memory, inbuilt fonts and, uh, and the circuitry to produce an alternating current signals for these uh, pixels of uh, liquid crystal and mm, this became very popular in market because of its easier interface and easier commands to, to use. So these displays when you go to market you have to ask them that whether they are using HD44780 processor or something else. If it is something else then you have to uh, dig out the data sheet of that controller or that processor and write the code accordingly. So we right now we will be talking about this HD44780 based LCD displays which are widely used in electronics market. So as previously I have told you that this LCD display this has 16 pins and pin number 1, 2 and 3 these are power pins. VSS is ground, VDD is 5 volts or maybe 3 volts and V is the contrast. These three are the control pins to control the functionality of the display or the controller. Uh, this is the RS pin which is selects the register. There are two registers uh, in this inside this uh, display or inside the SD44780 processor. One is the, the display, the register that contains the commands to control the display, like uh, to turn the display on, turn the display off, turn the cursor on, off, or to shift the, uh, 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 the display characters left or right and to move the cursor to a particular position, etc. etc. So that register is called command register. And the second register is where the data where that you want to display is stored is called the data register. So with, by selecting one or zero on these this pin that selects that whatever data is going to appear on these pins will be going to the um, 
command register or the display register. We will be talking about it later on. This read write pin is used whether you want to write to the display or whether you want to read something from the display. Uh, there is very little need to read from the display and uh, sometimes you can use uh, the, this, this read write pin to read from the display whether it is ready to accept new data or whether it is still busy in, uh, uh, in updating the display uh, with the previous data. So that is called busy flag. You want to read the busy flag uh, before sending the new data to the display. So for that you, you, you can use this read write pin but in most of the applications they usually do not use this pin they configure it only for writing and uh, they assume uh, or, or they give a little bit of specific delay in their sending the commands making sure that the previous command has completed the function assuming that it has completed the function and then is the enable pin uh, this pin is used to give a signal like 0 to 1 and 1 to 0. This signal of pulse will enable the data on uh, these pins and the register select pin to be shifted into the microcontroller. Uh, and then LED, anode and cathode are the pins for the backlight. That is just an LED, you can use it accordingly. Either you can uh, connect them to the power supply fixed or you can connect them to, through a transistor and microcontroller pin so that you can turn the backlight on or off as per your requirement. Now the connections. <clears throat> Here there are eight data connections. The all data pins D0 to D7, they have been connected to the digital input output pins of your microcontroller. This can be any microcontroller, whether it be PIC, whether it can be a VR, whether it can be STM32 or an, any, any, any GPIO pins. These are just pins which need to be high and low, these are digital pins. Though there's no specific requirement of uh, using the SPI or I2C or any other communication protocol in this particular case. This is the simplest way of connecting them to the microcontroller using the digital input and output pins. Then an enable pin has to be connected. Then is the read write pin has to be connected. Uh, or sometimes we just ignore this uh, pin and we just connect it to the ground. The read write pin is connected to the ground. If it is connected to the ground, which means it is zero, then it is uh, configured as uh, for writing purpose only. And then is the register select pin that has to be connected to the microcontroller. The contrast has to be connected using a potentiometer connected between 5 volts and ground and the slider pin is connected to the contrast pin. And then is the 5 volts and ground supply. That's just simple. Nothing special in it. LED can be connected to the power supply. Now this is called 8-bit configuration in which 8 data lines are connected to the microcontrollers and at least 2 control lines, uh, register select and enable are connected to the microcontroller. So it will be using 8 plus 2, 10 IO lines from your microcontroller. Since microcontrollers are very much uh, usually short in their uh, Splife of the IO lines because other circuitry like sensors and motors and keyboards and keypads and switches and buttons etc need to be connected. So there is always one always wants to conserve these IO lines. But if eight IO lines you can are available, it is always easier and to interface the LCDs using these eight lines. However, this controller HD44780 provides a special mode in which the four IO lines means D4, D5, D6, D7, they can be used to acquire the data. In that case, a complete one byte is sent as two four bit nibbles, a high nibble and low nibble. So that is called four bit mode in which the LCD is connected to the controller only using these four data lines and these D0 to D3 are not connected. 
like in this connection. The D3, D4, D5, D6 and D7, these are four lines, they are connected to the four digital pins of PIC microcontroller and these two lines, RS and Enable are connected to the microcontroller and read-write is grounded so that <clears throat> only the write operation can be performed. This is the minimalistic uh, uh, configuration. Um, obviously, you need a potentiometer to connect to the ground in that same way. That does not need any uh, microcontroller pin. And uh, so we need at least four and two six pins of the microcontroller to interface with this uh, device. So before making any application or before making any uh, software, you have to first decide that in which configuration you are going to connect your LCD, whether it is you are going to use 8-bit mode or whether you are going to use 4-bit mode. Both are available and in your software you can or in your library you can interface, uh, make programs for both. Right. <clears throat> Arduino and some other compilers, they provide libraries for easy interfacing of these devices. These compilers are third-party compilers. Either they are provided by the compiler. Uh, these libraries uh, are provided either by the uh, compiler maker, like in Microelectronica, there is an LCD library built in. Like in Arduino, there is an LCD library built in. In STM32, there is no library built of this LCDs uh, built into the ID like QID or others. For that, you have to use the libraries developed by third parties like an individual. Mr. X might be making a library and making it available for consumption uh, for use by others. So in that case, that they make this library source code and source code is made available or you have to write your own libraries and uh, like others who are sharing their knowledge and brain to others you will be sharing your brain and knowledge with others so it is always good to know how to make these libraries and fun functionalities because whenever you think that what a, a, an extra feature I can implement on these devices, then you can modify your library or provide that extra functionality easily. And moreover, it is good for learning uh, purpose because this series is basically meant for learning, not for using the devices. If you want to use, it is very easy to use Arduino or uh, compilers like that. Like that which provide a rich set of libraries and uh, a huge uh, support from the community in the form of third-party libraries. But I would always prefer that for learning purpose, you must know how to make your own libraries and also how to share your knowledge with others. Let's not be only consumers, let's also be givers. Right, now let's talk about the basics of uh, internal functionality of this device. As you know, there is there are pins, register select, read write, and eight data pins starting from DB0 to DB7. So this is all that you need to interface. For our purpose, read write pin will be always zero because we just want to write into the microcontroller into the LCD. So this will be always zero. This will be only set to 1 if you want to read the busy flag. Otherwise, this needs to be connected to 0. So we are not going to use the busy flag. So this will be always be used as connected to ground as 0. So we don't need to concentrate on the functionality of this pin. Now the register select pin, this will be set to 0 whenever we want to send any data to the control register of the uh, LCD. So in the first instance, you have to set it to zero and then the data should be according to the, this table to control the functionality of the display. Like, so if you set this register set with to zero and 
the bit 0, DB0 is set to 1 and all other pins are set to 0, that will clear the display. That will clear the display. And then if you set it, this register select bit to 0 and set DB1 to 1 and this will set the uh, 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 this is this will be set DD drive address 0 in address counter so that the cursor is shifted to the home position etc etc so most important uh, in this is first is uh, function set control in function set control your register select bit should be 0 and your DB5 pin DB5 pin should be set to 1 and then there are three pins which are controlling the DL, N and F functionality. We will be talking about these later. DL is uh, to uh, control the uh, dis uh, display lines, whether the, your LCD is single line or whether it is multi-line. If it is zero, it is single line LCD. If it is one, it is multi-line LCD like two or three or four L four lines and then n is the uh, uh, is the uh, is the uh, sorry dl is that is data length sorry i'm sorry dl is the data length whether you are going to use the display in four eight bit modes or four bit modes i'm sorry uh, the it, DL is for if it is 0 it is uh, in 4 bit mode if it is 1 it is in 8 bit mode and N stands for the number of lines number of lines displays N whether it is 0 it means it is one line and 1 means it is multi line and F stands for the matrix in the LED display whether you are going to use the 5 by 7 standard matrix or some displays have 5 by 10 matrix displayed for a larger fonts. It is not always there. If it is there, you can use that display, that format. So, uh, we will be using first in the 8-bit mode. So, for 8-bit mode, we will be using set this bit to 1 and this bit also will be set to 1 because we are going to use two two-line display and this will be set to 0. These bits means it can be anything like 1 or 0 that has no, no uh, effect on your uh, functionality. And then the second thing which you need to be addressed is this display control on and off. Again the register select bit is 0 and this time DB3 pin is set to 1 and then there are D, C and P uh, pins which D is set for displays to be turned on or off whether if it is zero the display is not going to accept any information if it is going to be in one then means the display is on and it is accepting the data. C is the cursor blinking whether, whether the cursor should be visible or not and B is whether the cursor should be blinking or not. So these three settings need to be done. The rest of the things we will be see later on uh, because they mention whether the uh, cursor will be moving from left to right and whether from right to left and whether it will be automatically incremented to the next position or not. All these are usually the standard settings which are already set by the hardware of the LCD or startup. So we don't need to set these, but if you want, you can set these various things. Uh, then you can set the CG RAM address and DD RAM address. These are also, uh, we will talk later about in these things. So what is the flowchart of this? When you turn the power on, the hardware of LCD automatically initializes itself in the 4-bit mode. Uh, but <clears throat> if you want to initialize the hardware manually or, or from your microcontroller, you have to give the same instructions to the uh, LCD 
to so that that can be reset so what it, it does is it sets db5 to 1 and db4 to 1 so db5 and db4 to 1 means that db5 is that um, uh, the display will be in 8 bit modes and 4 means that it will be two lines so this will turn out to be a hexadecimal number 0x30 so um, uh, in, 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 in the real ha hardware you have to send this command three times right same command 0x30 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 three times and every time in between you have to wait at least 4.1 milliseconds 100 microseconds and a little bit more here so that we, we make sure that the internal hardware has been reset properly because each time this instruction is given it takes some time for it to be executed and it has to be sent three times because uh, sometimes the processor or the st double four seven eight zero does not respond appropriately uh, if we are using since we will be using in our simulation we will be just sending this instruction once and we assume that it will be effective but then you are making your lcd driver or you are using in the actual hardware you have to send this instruction three times from your initialization commands so this will be instruction 0x30 in which db5 is set to 1 db4 is set to 1 and then you have to set the n and f n and f is uh, number of lines and font size so if you set the number of lines to one which is uh, two lines or more and font size is five by seven which will be zero so this will become one 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 zero db5 to one db4 to one db3 to one and db2 to zero this turns to be out to be number zero x three eight so this number will be used to initialize the display so either you can use 0x30 and then you can use this 0x38 or you can straight away give 0x38 the next thing you have to give is to control the lcd display and for that db3 is set to 1 and then d c and b as we have previously talked display will be turned on by 1 uh, cursor will be set to on by 1 and blinking will be set to 0 and this will be vector 0xe hexadecimal so if we will set be giving only these two instructions like 0x38 and 0xe by setting the rs pin to 0 so uh, the lcd will be initialized then there are various control controls i have just com not completed this uh, uh, this this table we will be talking about these later on in our talk so let's switch back to our simulation so here is the simulation in which i have not used any microcontroller this is the display and these are the connections the vdd is connected to positive and vss is connected to ground the read write pin is also connected to the ground and we in, in in actual world you will be connected a ship a potentiometer and connected to the contrast but in simulation you don't need that <clears throat> the register select pin the enable pin and all the data pins they are connected through a dip switch to the ground and each pin is connected to a register and that register is connected to ground and this is connected to positive sorry this is connected to positive this is connected to ground so when the switch is turned off the pin sees ground signal through this register and it becomes logic zero if this stands high then five volt signal will appear from here to the on the pin and uh, it will override the ground signal which is coming through the register and the line will become logic high or logic one so we will be controlling our registers using these uh, dip switches 
so this switch is connected to the rs pin and this switch is connected to the enable pin so we will be giving a pulse by giving it to run and low and this will be making a pulse on the enable pin and rest are the data pins remember this is d0 is on this side and d7 is on this side whereas when you write uh, on in binary the d0 is on the right side and d7 is on the left side so we will be uh, uh, right th this zero is on this side and this seventh bit is on on the right side because the configuration on this lc display is like that right so let's start the simulation so lcd has been turned on and all the pins they have been set to zero because these dip switches are zero if you you turn this switch as one uh, th there will be logic one on this pin and if you turn n to zero it will be zero right so first we have to send the register select command to zero so this register select bit is set to zero and the data that we want to send is zero x zero x three zero zero x three zero which is uh, db0 to db4, 0, 1, 2, 3 are set to 0 and 4 and 5 will be 1. So db0, this is db0, it is set to 0, this is 0, this is 0, this is 0, this will be 1, this will be 1 and the other two will be 0. So after giving this, we give it a pulse enable high and enable low so this data is transferred into the the disk so you can in actual world you will be giving this pulse three times five two three right and then you have to set zero three uh, c which is the eight bit mode and five by seven font zero three c which will be uh, db0 and db1 will be 0 these are 0 and this will be 1 this will be 1 and all two will be 1 and again we give an enable pulse high and low and now we have to give this third input signal which is 0xe which is uh, db0 is 0 and rest of 3 are 1s so db0 is 0 and db1 is 1 1 1 and this will be 0 so this will be 1 1 1 this will also be 0 I think and then you have to give the pulse and you can see here the cursor has appeared the cursor has appeared because now the data is visible the LCD has been initialized now to give us a character you have to turn the register select to 1 now we are going to send the character data that will be letter A its code is 0x41 in which the pins are pin number db0 is 1 this is db0 is 1 all other are 0 and this is 1 right and now we give the impulse 1 0 and here is the letter a appears right now if you set the data to another uh, command like for b B will be uh, uh, this will be 0 and this will be 1 this will be 66 so give it a command and letter B will appear and the cursor is automatically incremented because this setting of this register has already been done in the configuration by the hardware automatically you can also override it but not need to be done that so this is how you can interfere 
in interface with your LCD. So now you know that by setting the various bits high and low, you can control the display of the LCD. So we will be implementing this knowledge in our next topics when we will be writing the LCD uh, uh, library or LCD code in our C language program. I hope you all have enjoyed it and this is the bare basics of your LCD. So if you know these basics, now you, are, you know what is happening inside the libraries which others have written. Thank you very much. Stay blessed and be happy. Allah Hafiz.